Hello friends and welcome to Facebook Live Fridays. My house is smelling awfully good right now because I am preparing to share with you one of my favorite vegan recipes for the holidays. I call it the ultimate vegan gravy. This vegan gravy has less fat and calories than the traditional version, but it doesn't sacrifice any flavor. I promise. So even if you're not cooking an all vegan holiday dinner, I highly recommend this delicious vegan alternative with my secret flavor bomb. Before we start, let me introduce myself. If we haven't met, I am Nancy Montori, founder of Ordinary Vegan, the blog, the podcast, and this beautiful, compassionate community on Facebook and we are over 313,000 strong. Wow, thank you so much for being here and please tell me where you're from. I love seeing all the cities and countries and I always say it is one of my favorite parts of doing these broadcasts and please hit the wow face if you're on a plant-based diet full or part-time. Your feedback, your comments, they all mean so much to me. So thank you for that too. I received a message from um, a woman who just joined our community who shared with me that she's 100 pounds overweight. And she was here on Ordinary Vegan because her son wants her to go vegan so she can live a long and healthy life. But she is feeling overwhelmed and the first thing that I said to her is that she's really fortunate that to have a son who loves her that much and cares about her that much that he wants her to live a long and healthy life. He is a very loving son. And the next thing I said was to take it one day at a time. Maybe tomorrow she includes one plant-based meal in her diet, and then maybe the next day she has another plant-based meal. And maybe the following day she has two plant-based meals in one day. And then maybe she starts realizing, wow, I feel really good after I eat. I don't wanna take a nap. I wanna take a walk. And that's when everything shifts, everything changes and you feel good. Not only about your diet, but about life in general, because you are extending compassion to the most important person in the world, and that's yourself. So if any of you are just starting out, take it slow so you don't get overwhelmed. I promise you eventually you will get there and it will be life changing. And so don't give up, never give up. Now, let me show you what's going on, what I have going on here with my vegan gravy and my secret flavor bomb. In this large electric skillet, I've got the new prop. I've had this for, I don't know, 30 years or more. And I realized, wow, I can use this in, the, in my cooking show, my, in my Facebook Live. So I heated up about a half a cup of vegetable broth. I added one cup of chopped onions, then I added three to four cups of chopped mushrooms, and any kind works. I used a combination of white, cremini, and portobello. Then I added a half teaspoon of salt, some fresh ground black pepper, and I sauteed that all together for about five minutes or until the veggies became soft. Next, I added three to four cloves of chopped garlic, and I sauteed that for another minute or two. Next, I added poultry seasoning. By the way, poultry seasoning doesn't include poultry. But if you don't like the idea of using a seasoning with the word poultry in it, you can make your own. The recipe will be in the vid video link in the rebroadcast. Then, oh, this smells so good. Then I added a quarter cup of dry red wine, which adds a lovely richness. And then I cooked that down for a minute or two and stirring it constantly to let the alcohol burn off. 
Now, if you don't want alcohol in this recipe, you can substitute the alcohol with two tablespoons of sherry vinegar and then cook that for a minute or two. Then you add three cups of vegetable broth. Next, I added my fresh aromatics. Two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh rosemary and two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh thyme. And this makes the dish very special. So please don't skip on the fresh herbs. Then you bring that to a boil and I lowered it and simmered it for about 15 minutes. And if it gets too thick, you can add more veggie broth. Meanwhile, you make my secret flavor bomb. And all you do is take a small bowl and add two tablespoons of reduced sodium tamari, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Oh, the gardeners are here. Um, and then, sorry about the background noise, and two tablespoons of flour. Now, you whisk that all together and it forms a, a very thick, very, very thick paste. So let me keep whisking that a little bit. Now, you add this mixture to your saute pan. See? See how that's a little thick little paste? You add that to your saute pan, and then you start whisking it in. Let's move this so we can get a good look at this. And see how now that's turning in to like this beautiful, Beautiful gravy. Gosh, this way the bomb is like the best. Sorry for the noise. Don't want to leave any of that flavor bomb behind. So you just keep whisking it. And I'm going to give you a little look. I'm sure you can see it, but hopefully you can see it well. Okay. And then. You do that, you whisk it until the um, paste dissolves, and you bring it to a boil for another minute, stirring constantly. Then I finish it off with some fresh sage leaves. Oh, so good. Um, I'd say two to three, but I used four because I am a big sage lover. And then maybe some more brown black pepper, then you taste it and add more salt if you need it. It is so yummy. Let's put some of that over these mashed potatoes. Okay, who doesn't want that? Now, you have a couple of options here. If you prefer it thicker, you can thicken it with flour or cornstarch, one tablespoon of flour or cornstarch to one tablespoon of water to m and make a paste and keep adding and whisking it into this beautiful broth until you have the exact thickness that you like. And you can take this and puree it into a very smooth gravy. But I like to leave it just as it is with these beautiful pieces of mushrooms. That's how I like it, and that's how everybody else seems to like it too. Thanks for joining me today, and please, even if you're watching in the rebroadcast, please tell me where you're from and hit the wow face if you're on a plant-based diet full of part-time. I am always checking back, constantly, constantly, constantly. I so appreciate this community. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe, and I will be back to serve you next Friday. Keep those comments coming. I so appreciate the kind words and all your compassion. To our friends in the USA, happy Thanksgiving. Till next time.